Hello, all my beautiful angels. Welcome back to my channel. It's me, your girl Shiloh, back with another video. Today, we are gonna do my October favorites. It's about that time of the month, so I thought we would do this. Plus, I've got a whole bunch of other ones coming, so I thought we would jump right into this one and do it now. I was gonna wait a little longer, do it next week, but there's a Gymshark release coming, and I've got the Kylie one to film still, and there's just so much fun stuff coming that I thought I should put this up on a Wednesday. Let's do this on a weird day. Um, before we get going into this video, please take a second, hit the like and the subscribe button now, and then also hit the bell button so you're notified whenever I post anything. If you're new to my channel, I hope you like the video. We do these videos every month. It's just my favorites for the month, um, and I hope you'll stick around. I post every Monday, every Friday, sometimes Wednesdays, and if you're returning, I appreciate you coming back to watch another video, and I hope that you guys all make it to the end. <clears throat> also, don't forget to go over to my Instagram, check out my Instagram, post it every day, try to post fun stuff. Other than that, if you're new here, let's get right into this. I'm going to tell you about this. Um, this, is my, this is my favorites. I do this every month. I like to do categories from fashion, fitness, makeup, lifestyle, and movies and games. That's what I like to do. I like to go over my favorites. I try to keep it pretty short, as short as I possibly can. We all know my videos are kind of long because I start talking. First thing I'm going to talk about is fashion. I had a lot of opportunities for fashion because I did so much traveling this, this last month. Whether I trip to Vancouver and my trip to Canada. And pretty much anytime I start feeling down, I go for some retail therapy because, you know, Nothing better than going shopping for some retail therapy. First one I have is going to be my bra that I bought while I was in Toronto with the, with the fuzzy straps on it. I love this bra so much. It's like so much fun and it's so cute. And if you want to see footage of me trying it on, there is footage in the Toronto vlog um, a couple videos ago of me trying it on. So if you want to see what it looks like on. And I do have a really super cute, because this is what I was thinking with it, um, a super cute off the shoulder sweater that I have coming that I'm going to wear with this. Um, that you'll see some posts on my Instagram when I finally get it. So this is one of my favorites. It's from Victoria's Secret. They had a lot of them. They also have it in black. They just did not have my color in black while I was in there. So instead I got this one, which I really like. I like that it has the gold shimmer on it. Cause so I thought it would go good with like this shirt because I could have it a little bit more open and show off the gold shimmer right on the top of the bra there. Um, next thing I have for fashion is my Stuart Weitzman boots. I was looking for a combat boot with a heel for like the longest time. And one of the problems I have, and for those of you that don't know, if you're new here, I am transgender, but one of the problems I have is unlike my hands, which are weirdly small, um, which are good for me, my feet are really big. So I have a hard time finding finding boots, finding heels, finding shoes that are gonna fit my feet. And I was looking for a combat boot with a heel for so long. And all the ones I found, the highest they would go up to was two is a size 10. And I wear a size 10 in boys shoes. So I'm wearing a size 12 in girls shoes. And it's so hard to find to find shoes that fit. Uh, I generally have to go more expensive, like Nordstrom's. I got these from Stuart Weitzman. These are my first Stuart Weitzman. So it was like a thing. And I had to go on like a waiting list because they were on pre-order and it took like 90 days for them to, or 60 days for them to ship out. And I'm not gonna lie, I did not wait for them to go on sale and they were not cheap, but I seriously love them. I'm still breaking them in, so. They're not the most comfortable yet. I don't think I could do an eight hour day on them, but I can do about three or four. I'm gonna pop in a little video here of me wearing them, so I hope you like that. So that was my fashion um, for the month of October. Now we're gonna get into makeup, okay? The first thing I have with makeup is I have, and you, I'm sure you guys have seen this in my, um, in my makeup tutorials, if you watch them, is the MAC Fix Plus Pink Light. They have a, a bunch of different colors, but it's basically Fix Plus with shimmer in it. And I think that's literally the most genius thing ever because like, you could put it on at the end when you're finishing up your makeup because I wear a lot of pink looks or even if you're doing like a not a really heavy eyeshadow like I did in my everyday makeup look the pink shimmer still gives you a nice pink shimmer all over your face and if you wear something this low cut you can always do some spray down on your chest area and give yourself some shimmer um, like I said they also have a gold shimmer too which is also nice I don't have that one but I might have to go get it I mean so I mean you got your fix plus and then you got your fix plus with the shimmer I think they also have a fix plus that's like a matte 
finish too, which I haven't tried. Might have to try that out. But if any of you try it and you like the matte finish, let me know. And I might have to go stop by the Mac store. I've, I've been there so much, they know me by name. Um, and, and try that one too. And for also for um, makeup, I have, and we all know I love Kylie, Kylie's Halloween collection. And I'm not gonna just narrow this down to one. I'm gonna say the whole collection. Normally most of her stuff, I'm just like, eh. I'm not eh, because I love Kylie, but some of the newer ones are just been like, eh, there's been a couple things I've liked. I generally like the palettes. I don't like a lot of the other stuff, but everything in the Halloween palette, Halloween collection, I kind of like, including all of the packaging for it. All the packaging is super cute. So I actually used the, the Halloween palette today for the makeup look I'm wearing. I hope that you guys like it. I'm gonna do a tutorial on and review on some of this stuff soon, but it has some really good colors. It's pretty much all shimmer which I really, really, really like. And I have some other stuff. I don't have it over here, but I also wanted to talk about the, um, the two, the two eyeshadow, the two eyeshadow shimmers. They have a, a really, really bold orange and a really, really bold gold. These are really super cute. Um, I can't wait to do some looks with these and post some of these on Instagram. And they're so bright and so shimmery. And it comes, a, it comes with like a little, like a deer foot applicator, but it'd be real easy to just take like a like a really thin angle brush and make like a like a wing out of it, I think. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do with those. Really like those. Okay, now we're gonna get into fitness. I had a lot of fitness stuff this month. I had a lot of fitness stuff I wasn't too excited about this month that I bought and tried on and did videos on. I'm actually pretty excited for the Gymshark release coming out for the new Seamless Collection um, tomorrow. And you can bet there's gonna be a video for that because I am gonna order. So all you bitches, you're trying to get in on my on my pink seamless Ch challenge accepted. We're, we're going tomorrow morning, Thursday. Um, but I am gonna talk about the Alpha Elite Revival shorts. I also have the Alpha Elite Revival leggings, which I love. And I'm gonna talk about the shorts because I think I got those, I think I got these this month and I think I might've got the other ones last month, but either way, either one is great. The Alpha Elite Revival, the leggings and the shorts, they are both amazing. They're so comfortable. I wish that they had a better sports bra to go with them. They don't have a good sports bra to go with them, like at all. But if you are into, if you like high-waisted, if you like high-waisted seamless stuff and uh, seamless workout leggings and you haven't tried them, you definitely should try them. And, and shorts I only wear when I do like cardio day or like an upper body day. I definitely don't wear them for lower body day because, you know, big girl problems. My thighs, you know, like to eat the shorts, but <laughs> and nobody wants to see that. But if you have never tried Alpha Elite leggings, you definitely need to get some and try the Revival leggings. The mauve is my favorite, as you could tell. Shocker, right? Mauve, mauve, whatever. You girls get what I'm talking about. For lifestyle, and I just went to Bath and Body Works today. If you've seen my Instagram, you know. Um, I ran all out of my um, pumpkin peanut brittle candle. So I went to see if they had more and they didn't, but I will tell you that if you are looking for some end of fall scents, all of the end of fall scents, what they have left, um, including lotions, are all 50% off right now at Bath and Body Works. So I picked up a campfire donut, which I really, really, really like. I actually got these when I got my last set of stuff in the uh, in the ones to go in your the plug in the plug in refills to go in your house, and it made the whole house smell so good. So this time I got the candle, and it's a three wick candle. The candles are amazing. You should definitely go go try the campfire donut. I could smell it. It's wafting up to my nose just as it's sitting right here. Um, you should definitely go check them out and especially if you want to get some last minute scents for the pumpkin before um, the scents go away you should head over to a Bath and Body Works. I'm sure they probably have them on sale too and pick some up before they all go away because the Christmas scents are coming soon and I know once the Christmas scents come all of these are going to be boxed up and put away. That's what they told me. So I needed to get in now. Maybe they were just telling me that because it's like, yeah, no, they're gonna, they know I'm gonna buy it anyway. So they wouldn't have just told me that. Okay, so let's get into movies. Um, I saw a few movies this month. Some eh, some good. Um, I did see, let's see, what all did I see? I'm trying to think off the top of my head. I saw the new Halloween movie, which I thought was really good. I was excited to see it. Um, love Jamie Lee Curtis. I love that it's not... 
If you're unfamiliar with the new one, I love that it's not a sequel or like not a, not a remake of the original. It's basically a sequel, but it's a sequel that's ignoring ignoring all of the other shit that was in the middle of it for the most part. So we don't have all this other crap in there that was horrible that that wasn't part of it. It's ignoring all of that and just going back and basically moving it off of I want to say off of the second Halloween movie. But it was really good. It was pretty much everything you would expect from a Halloween movie. I mean, it was nothing spectacular. It was not the original. And I don't know, am I the only one? I liked the Rob Zombie version too. I thought the Rob Zombie version was really good just because I liked the how they played out the... Um, the part with the the kid in the beginning to show like how his childhood was and how fucked up it was um but i did really like the new one but i will say my favorite movie of the month hands down was a star is born that movie was absolutely amazing it made me cry it made me laugh it wasn't just because i went and saw it with my girl maddie which definitely was a plus um which it was kind of weird, like like where we went to, and I don't know if it's everywhere or maybe it's just this theater, but I'm so used to the theater I go to now, I can order the tickets online and, and have my seat assigned, but we couldn't do any of that. We had to go there, Could, didn't have assigned seats. It was like first come, first serve. It's kind of crazy. It's like old school. It was like Thunderdome there. But um, Lady Gaga was absolutely amazing. She is such an amazingly talented human being. If there's a movie that you want to go see, it's A Star Is Born. It was seriously so good. I was supposed to watch Venom this month. I didn't. It got really bad reviews. I was supposed to go with my friend. And when I told my son about the reviews, he was like, I don't want to go to that. We'll watch it when it comes out on Blu-ray. So we didn't go. My friend said he still liked it, but I didn't go watch it. Uh, I am really, really super excited though for November because we have The Crimes of Grindelwald coming out. I might dress up for it. My son said he won't go with me if I dress up for it. I still feel like he'll go though. I might already have my tickets. I might have already sent them and a big excited post a picture of them to, to Maddie because she likes Harry Potter too, as we all saw if you watched my Toronto video. Other than that, favorite movie of the month, A Star Is Born. Must see. You have to go watch it. Definitely. And the final category we have is obviously gaming. And this month, I only played a couple of games. I finished up Tomb Raider. There were some trophy issues, which made me have to replay it like four times, which are fixed now, but they weren't fixed when I was trying to get my platinum trophy. So that kind of took away my fun of it. Still loved it though. But I also played Life is Strange 2 and I hadn't watched any of the trailers for Life is Strange 2. And I was really excited for it because I really liked the original Life is Strange. And I was so excited to jump back in. Um, and continue the adventures with Chloe and Max. And then I found out when I started playing it, it's not even about Chloe and Max, it's about two brothers. And I'm like, Ugh. I still played it, it was fun. It wasn't as fun as the original. I don't think I was in, as invested as the characters as I was with Chloe and Max. So I was just like, eh. Even like the prequel to A Life, to a Life is Strange, I can't think of the name of it off the top of my head, but the prequel for it with Chloe and, God, I can't think of her name either. Um, I liked that one better than this one because it still had characters that I'm invested in. And I don't know if you're like me when I play games, but I'm more into like story driven games. So I like a game where I can get invested in a character. If I can get invested in a character, then I really, really care about them and I want to play the game to see what happens to them, which means I want to do continuing stories of them or prequel stories of them. But it's pretty much my fault I didn't watch the trailer. I was just like, oh, Life is Strange too. Heck yes, let's go on with it. I was thinking, you know, just like the Walking Dead game, you know, it's continuing the story of Clementine. I thought that this would be similar, but that's what I get for thinking. But, and keep in mind, this is only based on games that I've played and Red Dead Redemption 2 does not come out until Thursday or Friday this week. So my game of the month for this month is definitely Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Now I have played every single Assassin's Creed game Back to the beginning, a long time ago, because I'm old. I have played every single one. I've platinumed everyone that has a platinum trophy, with the exception of Black Flag, because there was a trophy issue with a with a with a social event that I could not get despite my 200 hours of gameplay. But this one, I, I know it got a really, really high score, and I really, really like it. It plays pretty much like Assassin's Creed Origins. So if you like Assassin's Creed Origins, that's definitely the route they're taking. This is their new route with Assassin's Creed games. I love that this is the first game where you can choose whether or not you're the boy or the girl, not playing as like I know, like an Origins or an... Um, 
the one in England. I can't think of the name of it off the top of my head, but like those two, you could play as the boy and the girl or, or the girl, but there were missions where you had to play as the boy and there were specific missions you had to play as the girl. This one, you can just pick the girl and play the entire time. And I have always loved games where I could play as the girl. And what's crazy, and this is just a whole transgender thing, which is kind of off topic, but when, when I was first figuring out that reading about, you know, transgender and was wondering if that's what I was feeling and watching videos about, you know, if I might be transgender and is this what I'm feeling, one of the, one of the things are is if that's the type, if the avatar you choose when you're playing games or just to represent yourself is generally female and that's what you pick all the time it's a, it's kind of a sign that that's where your mind is at and all the way for the as long as i can remember if there was a game where i could pick a girl i always picked a girl character to play as and my friends would make fun of me and i'd be like what's wrong with a girl i mean i can remember all the way back to playing the original gauntlet because I'm old, in the arcade and playing as the Valkyrie and my friends being like, why the Valkyrie? And it's just what I remember. So I like being able to play as the girl. The scenery is amazing. And if any of you see, have like watched my stories on Instagram, there's a unicorn skin that you can use for the horse, which is like the cutest thing. It's like its horn lights up and it's like little rainbows come out of its heels, as it's, out of its hooves, its heels, out of its hooves as it's running. Seriously cute. Gameplay is amazing, locations are amazing. One complaint I do have though, if you played the Assassin's Creed games, uh, can we please take out this fucking photo, this fucking photo mode? Because there's nothing more irritating than trying to select a location to fast travel to, and you can't because people will put their fucking photos there and it won't let you pick the actual location because the photo is right on top of it. I get you can hide it, but still, it's annoying. Just take it out of the fucking game. <sighs> I'm digressing. But overall, I think the game was amazing. I'm trying to get it finished because I know as soon as Red Dead Redemption comes out, it's gonna be Assassin's what? <laughs> it's Red Dead Redemption time, which is basically, I'm pretty sure it comes out Thursday, which will make Thursday like one of the best days ever because we've got the Gymshark release and the Assassin's, uh, the, the Red Dead Redemption release all on the same day. I'm like so excited. You're gonna see. I might even like do like a little insta live while I'm in there at the at the late night release. So you girls that are wondering what does my boyfriend do at this game at this game release? What goes on? Maybe I'll maybe I'll actually film it. And be like, oh, this is this is what we do. Us, you know, nerds that come here and pick up the game late at night. <laughs> anyway, I'm digressing. It's definitely a must play. You should definitely check it out, especially if you liked Assassin's Creed games, you will love it. Um, if you've never played one before, you could always jump in any Assassin's Creed game pretty much, especially the newer ones. You could pretty much jump in and play it. There's all kinds of videos you can watch to see what's happened leading up to it um, with the Assassin's Creed universe, but you will definitely love it. Other than that, we are all done. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. I tried to make it not too terribly long. We'll be back Friday with another video. But other than that, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your week. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. And I appreciate every single one of you, like I said. Bye, loves.